So what do I think about Brian Johnson? If you follow health and longevity content, you've probably heard of this rich tech guy who's trying some extreme ways to live longer. He considers himself the most measured man ever and says he wants to be a case study of trying not to die. Part of his protocol is his new blueprint supplements. So is this new supplement line real science or is it just expensive marketing? Let's check it out. So let's talk about the man behind the supplements. Brian Johnson is a multimillionaire who has turned himself into a walking anti-aging experiment. He spends about $2 million each year on his health plan. He eats a super strict diet, takes over 100 supplements every single day, and he's working with a team of doctors who track everything about his health. And I mean everything. He aims for a 100% sleep score every single day, tracks his nighttime erection duration, and has even had a 17-year-old son's blood transfused in his own body. Some people think what he's doing is really cool, while others think he's just a rich guy doing rich guy things. Either way, lots of people are talking about him. So what's interesting is that Johnson is now selling parts of his health plan as the blueprint stack to regular people. But of course, it costs a lot of money, and apparently trying to live forever needs not only just good genes, but also a fat wallet. So let's break down the blueprint stack. The complete blueprint stack costs $361 for just 30 days of supplements. Think about that for a minute. That is over $4,300 per year, enough to buy a decent used car or take a great vacation. But hey, what's a few thousand dollars if it might help you live longer, right? Let's look at what you actually get for all this money. Number one is snake oil or extra virgin olive oil for $30 a bottle. Mmm, actually tastes really good. Isn't that delicious? Yeah. It's 15% of my diet. 15%? Yeah, every day. Three tablespoons a day. Three tablespoons is 15% <laughs> of your diet? <laughs> Yes, you heard that right. Johnson calls his olive oil snake oil, which is kind of a joke because critics call him a snake oil salesman. It's either pretty clever or pretty tone deaf, depending on how you see this. This olive oil is from Australia or Portugal, and it's supposed to be very high in polyphenols, which are good plant antioxidant compounds. And while good olive oil does have health benefits, paying $30 for what's basically a kitchen staple seems kind of crazy. Most high quality olive oils cost 15, 25 bucks, so this is a lot higher price than what you find at a grocery store. I personally think it's nuts to pay $30 for olive oil. Though to be fair, Consumer Lab's top rated olive oil costs around $27 for seven fluid ounces, which is actually more per ounce. But still, does paying more for slightly higher poly polyphenols actually help your health? That's not clear. I personally just use a high quality extra virgin olive oil from Greece, the motherland, and I call it a day. Number two is the longevity mix, the main product. So this powder puts over 20 capsules into a sugar-free drink with monk fruit sweetener. If you've ever tasted monk fruit, you may agree that it is not called very delicious. This ingredient list is packed with very scientific sounding stuff, has vitamin C and magnesium, which you can get from food, 2.5 grams of creatine, which is a normal dose that has some pretty good research behind it, calcium alpha ketoglutarate at around two grams, which helped old mice live longer in studies. There's also glucosamine sulfate, which is used for joint health, although the results are mixed. Taurine at 1.5 grams with some evidence for lowering blood pressure. Glycine at 1.2 grams that might help with sleep, although studies use twice this amount. And lysine at 1.2 grams, which most people get enough protein, you know, in their diet, so you get enough lysine. It also has ashwagandha root extract, 600 milligrams, with decent evidence for reducing stress. Glutathione, 250 milligrams, which is an expensive way to get something your body mostly makes on its own. Theanine at 200 milligrams, with some evidence for stress and sleep benefits. And hyaluronic acid, which is usually used in skin creams, but with some promising studies on reducing skin aging when you take it by mouth. So the weird thing about this longevity mix is how little connection most ingredients actually have to living longer. The closest is probably calcium alpha ketoglutarate's effect in mice, although most ingredients have some evidence for specific health issues, but not for extending lifespan. But I do like a lot of these supplements. I personally take magnesium for better sleep, creatine for enhanced muscular and cognitive performance, and ashwagandha for stress management. But the difference costs me pennies per day. Three is a blueberry nut mix. I like the simple name here. It's just freeze dried blueberries, macadamia nuts, and walnuts. One serving of this is about half a cup of blueberries. And the simplicity is nice. They don't call it an antioxidant superfood immunity complex or something fancy. It's just blueberries and nuts. Of course, you can go to the grocery store and buy these for a whole lot cheaper, but some people may like that convenience. Number four is a nutty pudding at $99 per month. This is basically a chalky meal replacement shake that Johnson eats daily. It has protein powder, flaxseed for omega-3s, sunflower lecithin for choline, plus cinnamon and cocoa for more polyphenols. 
as if the olive oil and blueberries weren't enough. But the $99 monthly price tag for what basically a protein shake with extras is shocking. Good protein powders with similar ingredients usually cost you about 30 to maybe $50 per month. Number five is NAC plus ginger plus curcumin. This mix includes NAC or N-acetylcysteine, which Johnson claims helps restore cysteine levels, which is a deficiency most people don't actually have, ginger extract for joints, liver, and immune health, and curcumin from turmeric for, for joints, brain, liver, and kidneys. While each ingredient has some research, most studies are small with mixed results. The vague claims like supporting brain health are really unclear. Does that mean better memory, less risk of dementia, better focus. The lack of clear claims lets people think it does whatever they hope it does. I will say, however, I am a fan of NAC. It's a precursor to glutathione, which is the body's master antioxidant. I found it very helpful in my own life for reducing rumination and overthinking, which matches some research on its effect on rep repetitive thought patterns like OCD type behaviors. It also seems to help people with various types of cravings, whether it is substances, food, or even social media. Some studies suggest that it may help with respiratory conditions. It works on thinning your mucus, and it's been researched for potential benefits with people with OCD, as I mentioned, addiction issues, and other mood disorders, which I've noticed it for myself. And while I'm skeptical of many supplements in Johnson's stack, NAC is one that I've personally found beneficial, though I'd probably buy it separately rather than buying it as an expensive bundle. Number six is red yeast rice plus odor-free garlic. Both of these ingredients help heart health. Red yeast rice can lower cholesterol because it contains a natural statin, like the pres prescription drugs for cholesterol, but the amount varies between products and Blueprint doesn't say how much is in theirs. Garlic may help lower cholesterol too, but usually at much higher doses than what's included here. Also, order-free garlic seems like a solution to a problem you can fix by just not taking garlic supplements. But garlic is legit. I consume a lot of it in my diet personally, not in a pill or a supplement though. Number seven is the essential soft gel, which contains vitamin K2, lutein, zeaxanthin, lycopene, and astaxanthin. These are plant compounds that may help your eyes, skin, and arteries, but the evidence for most of these is mixed or mainly applies to specific groups like heavy smokers or people with nutrient deficiencies. Vitamin K2 helps move calcium into bones instead of your arteries, while lutein and zeaxanthin protect eyes from blue light and age-related eye problems. Lycopene and astaxanthin are antioxidants that might help skin and reduce inflammation, but if you eat plenty of colorful vegetables, you're probably getting enough of these compounds without needing a supplement in the first place. Number eight is the essential capsule at $55 per month. Finally, we have a multivitamin with extra ingredients like nicotinamide riboside or NR and some probiotics. NR has become popular for anti-aging as a precursor to NAD, which is a molecule that declines with age. While animal studies showed promise for metabolism and lifespan, human studies have not been so impressive. The probiotics included are likely standard strains, without evidence that they actually colonize your gut long-term as well. For $55 monthly, you're getting what's essentially a fancy multivitamin with nutrients available in a basic $10 supplement, but with some trendy ingredients with some limited human, human evidence, kind of like AG1 here. So what about the science behind the stack? Johnson's marketing says the stack is built upon 1,000 plus clinical trials, which sounds impressive until you realize this doesn't tell us about the quality, size, or the results of those trials. It's just a big number that sounds scientific without really meaning too much. After looking at the research behind these ingredients, I found that while many are dosed at levels used in studies, when studies exist, many of these studies are small with few people, show mixed or tiny results, and were done on specific groups like sick or elderly people that don't match the typical consumer, they haven't been repeated by other scientists, or they were paid for by companies that made those ingredients, or they were simply done on rats, and you're human, not a rat. Another big problem is that Johnson sometimes links his own personal experiments as scientific research. Any real scientist would tell you that one's personal experience, no matter how carefully tracked, is just an anecdote and not real scientific data. Perhaps the biggest issue with blueprint supplements is what they hide. Brian Johnson's results probably don't come mainly from supplements. His results come from an extremely strict diet, a regular exercise program, perfect sleep schedule, and a pretty low body fat like an athlete, possibly some prescription medications and medical treatments that likely cost a lot of money, and having a team of health professionals watching his every single health marker, again, which costs a lot of money. I've noticed that people who are drawn to Blueprint are often the same people who buy other fancy supplements like AG1 or Element. They buy things to feel like they're making progress while avoiding what actually works at a more reasonable price tag. And this is the real issue. Supplements are the least important part of health, yet they're what most people try first, probably because swallowing pills is easier than changing how much you exercise or how much you sleep. And with that, Johnson's supplement marketing uses several clever mind tricks. First, he calls blueprint therapies instead of supplements 
making them seem different from regular supplements. This makes Blueprint sound much more medical without making actual medical claims that would get FDA attention. His website looks very clinical, simple, clean, with scientific looking charts. Johnson's marketing team uses what I call science sounding language, which are technical terms that are scattered throughout without making any direct claim. For example, they'll say an ingredient supports mitochondrial function without directly claiming that it will make you live longer. Their pricing strategy is pretty smart from a marketing view as well. By making the stack so expensive, again at $361 monthly, they've created what economists call a Dublin good, which is a luxury item where the high price actually makes people want it more. Think like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, for example. The high price makes it feel special and makes buyers think that they're actually getting something really effective. And Johnson's own body and health results are probably his most powerful marketing tool. You see him all over social media posting about everything that he does. By showing off his fit body, health markers, and youthful, although almost vampirish look, he creates an uns unspoken promise that buying Blueprint will get you similar results. Of course, he doesn't mention that his results come from a $2 million yearly program that includes medical procedures, prescription drugs, and 24 seven monitoring by experts. The marketing also uses scarcity and exclusivity. By presenting the stack as the exact formula he personally uses, developed by a team of experts with access to cutting edge research, Johnson makes consumers feel like they're getting the insider access to special products that are not available to everyone else. And perhaps most cleverly, Blueprint's marketing acknowledges the skepticism about supplements by embracing it like the snake oil name, which disarms critics and creates an impression of honesty. But this appearance of being super transparent builds trust while still allowing the company to make implied claims without making any direct statements. But the real genius of Blueprint's marketing is how it turns a simple supplement purchase into joining a movement led by a visionary. You're not just buying supplements, you're buying into Johnson's vision of a future where aging is optional. It's identity marketing at its best. But let's be realistic, at $361 monthly, Blueprint supplements are a big investment for most people. And the question is, is this the best use of money if you want to live longer? Think about alternatives for the same money. A full year at a nice gym, weekly meetings with a coach or nutrition expert, regular health checkups, quality whole foods including organic produce and good proteins, therapy to reduce stress, which again speeds up aging, or tools just to help you sleep better. All of these have stronger evidence for health benefits than most supplements, but they lack the easy promise of just swallowing a pill. So while Johnson gets points for listing all his ingredients and most of his doses, the Blueprint stack is extremely expensive compared to buying similar ingredients separately, makes big claims about living longer, and is probably only helpful for people already eating well, exercising, and sleeping well, and uses the founder's results without mentioning all the other factors involved. If you're still thinking about that $30 bottle of snake oil, Ask yourself if you're buying it for the health benefits or just to follow the same plan as a famous biohacker. Anyway, the search for immortality continues, one expensive supplement at a time. Whether it actually works remains to be seen, but it sure keeps the supplement companies making a whole lot more money. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on his supplement stack, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.